Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. It feels like forever since I've said that. Now in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys a little bit of an unboxing that I did like three weeks ago of a pair of ornate Diamondback Terrapins and then a little female concentric. I have them right now in quarantine and a little quarantine tub just to make sure that they're okay and everything for a couple weeks before they move out to their permanent enclosure. Now I will say this though, the pair of ornate Terrapins I filmed on this camera, but I deleted the footage because this was like three weeks back so I guess I accidentally purged it so instead we have nice horizontal awful phone footage but I guess that's better than nothing as for the female concentric though her name's Yoda and I have that footage on here so it'll be nice and HD and normal and whatever and now everyone's relaxing in their quarantine setup I'll show you more about this in a little bit now right before we get started with today's video if you guys want to support me and the channel and help me feed these little baby turtles that I have please consider hitting the link right up over here and heading over over to my Patreon. So over there, you guys get behind the scenes access to photos, videos, baby turtles when I have them available and these guys will be ready to roll soon. Giveaway entries, because I will also be doing that soon. Discounts on merch and you get to ask me any and all questions that you might have. I'm gonna throw these guys a little bit of food. I actually just sent out the first, this is the second round of flipper babies. I sent out five out of the six, well, one I'm holding on to for a friend, but four out of six flipper babies I just shipped out yesterday to a bunch of you guys, which is bittersweet. I wish I could keep them all, but I just don't have the space. So sometimes, well, it's it, I raise them until they're strong and healthy and eating and whatnot, and then it's time for them to go to new homes. I can't hoard all the terrapins now, can I? As much as I'd love to. So with all that stuff out of the way, so what I normally do is I wasn't going to show you guys the unboxing of the pair of ornate terrapins, which we'll watch right when I'm done talking, because I didn't plan on actually keeping the mail because I have too many ornate males already. I just wanted the females, so I got them together, and then I quarantined them for three weeks, I think it's been now, and then the male I took off to a separate home, and now I am left with the female. So usually I film unboxings, though, not just for content and whatnot. I film it just in case anything goes wrong. I have, like, video proof that I didn't tamper or fake anything, which is something that some of you guys might want to do. Also, you get to relive the moment forever, because if you keep the footage, you can rewatch it and be like, oh, that's when I got the little baby and fun stuff like that. There we go, stay right where you are. No, 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 please don't. No, she's gone. All right, goodbye. <laughs> that was the most relaxed climb into the water I've ever seen. So here comes little missus. She does not have a name yet, but this is a female that's an ornate diamondback terrapin, and she just happens to have a whole lot of flower back on the shell. That's that yellow that's coming and radiating through, and she's mad at me. She doesn't want me to pick her up, so I don't think I'm going to. Well, if she comes over, I will. So she's in this quarantine tub until a couple of weeks, probably another two or three. Maybe I'll put her in the pond, but we have some plans because winter is fast approaching, but I plan on doing something, you know, a little drastic to fight back against the cold. I am going to bother these girls to do a health checkup. Oh my goodness, she's fast. Just wanting to check up on them, make sure that they're all looking good. Her growth is a little bit bumpy here, a little strange, but she is absolutely stunning. She's got no fungus, no nothing. She's got a great little attitude. I'm going to let her go now. And then we also want to take a look at this little lady right down here. Well, let's look at the footage first. Okay, so I've already opened the box just because I was too nervous to see if, you know, the turtle was okay at the FedEx. Here she is though. She's moving and grooving, which is excellent. Uh, and I just need to open this up. That should be enough. All right. So here I've now cut it more than it was before. And here we go. Hello, beautiful. Hi, look at her. She looks great. We're going to get her in her little enclosure now. Just for a few days, you're going to be hanging here with these ornates in this little quarantine setup. Ooh. 
So enjoy. I'm gonna let her get settled in. It'll probably take her a little bit. I'll toss in a little bit of food and she should acclimate and do super well in this little enclosure until I am able to put her in the pond. Hi. Hi, beautiful. So here is Yoda. She is a really cool little concentric diamondback terrapin. She's got very minimal webbing up in the head. That's what that little stuff between the eyes is that's referred to as webbing. And she is just absolutely beautiful. Louie. Oh, she didn't like that. Okay, sorry, baby. Louie. What's the matter? What's the matter? Hey. Hey, Pasqua, what's the matter? What are you barking at? What are you barking at? Anyway, those girls will be quarantined until they're ready for the pond life. The ornate though, I might not put in the pond. I might have some special plans for her. I definitely need to do an update video on the pond just to show you guys what's going on with everyone in here. I mean, it's all good stuff. It's just, you know, no news is good news. Stop eating dirt. This dog is so bad. Everyone wish happy birthday to Louie. He's gonna be 12 in two days. Everyone type happy birthday. Anyway, folks, that was, I mean, that was the unboxing. That was the... <laughs> this dog i swear that was the unboxing that was pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i have a senile old dog to go deal with and i'll see y'all in the next one Lou